All right, so 128 participants. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, you are participating in the best elephant money AMA ever. And why is it the best elephant money AMA ever? Because elephant has it. Elephant has been around as long as it has with you guys involved, with you guys here right now. We're at the tip of the spear. This is where Elephant is right now. This is where we stand right now. This is us right now. The world's going to hell in a handbasket. And this is where we are right now, ready to do something special uh, in the financial services space, in the financial freedom space, uh, in the changing lives space. We can do this together. We only can do this together. We're the herd. What does that mean? That means that the future is in our hands. A lot of people ask, hey, BT, how come you can't partner with this protocol or that protocol or any partnerships on the way? What integrations do you have planned? Yada, 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 yada. Okay? Um... When I got into college, um, it was in 1994. So uh, the internet was already around. I already had exposure to it. It was through modems. <laughs> um, you know, we had internet at school. Um, everything was really rough you know, Netscape days, um, was able to see it evolve and start to take off. Um, I was around to see uh, to see uh, financial institutions um, start to uh, get their initial services online and I was involved you know I worked at a I worked at a company that uh net numina that helped um and I think I think my buddy Jen is on um but uh I was I was able to participate in that sort of first like digitization of financial services uh, uh happening on the internet so I watched that whole arc evolve uh um and um, saw the dot com boom and bust the whole nine yards. Saw mobile happen in a big way. You know, was there at the beginning of Bitcoin. You know, met all the Bitcoin billionaires in New York City. I was there. Um, so, and along with all that, you know, I saw all the success and I saw all the failures. And countless case studies, both academically and also, you know, just being a part of the space. And when I say space, I mean, the, you know, basically the web, the web two space, you know, web one, web two, being involved in that mobile, being involved in all that. So. Um, you get a sense for what's important and you get a sense for where, um, the soft underbelly is. And one of the things that, uh, I, I was sort of intimately aware of was that there's a lot of, uh, third party risk out there. And when you're trying to build the forever protocol, 
and specifically a community bank that the community, like a community bank that should only depend on the actions of guess what? The community. We do this on our own. We create our own yield. We create our own economic activity, entropy. Um, we most certainly don't depend on debt. Uh, because if you leveraged and you lend out money or you lend out money, it, a lot of things can go wrong. There's smart contract risk. We're, we're, we're aware of smart contract risk. That is always something that's been a reality. You know, we've deployed dozens of smart contracts throughout the years across multiple blockchains, uh, searching for the solution to cash flow for all. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to have dependencies and those, those dependencies can break. So the only dependency that this system has is you. From one release to the next, I'm here to, you know, help push it along. But I'm not going to be doing this forever. Uh, and I'm still trying to figure out to what extent we need to make this flexible for the future. Um, if you look at Bitcoin, which is digital gold. You know, it doesn't have to evolve too much, right? F from what it is. And and right now it's kind of painted in a corner. Um, you're not going to see Bitcoin change drastically from what it is today. And people are either going to accept that it's good as is and it's decentralized and, and, and it's the digital gold and that's the value. Or maybe Ethereum will take its place. But it's not going to, uh, but Bitcoin itself is, is done. Um, so who are we partnered with? What are our dependencies? What are our, externalities if the buck really stops with us it stops with our actions we create our own yields we create our own value we bring the value to the bank a bank is valued by its balance sheet and our balance sheet is clear through the the, the liquidity pools the treasuries you add those numbers together you get our assets under management, okay? So what are our dependencies? Our dependencies are Binance, Binance Smart Chain. I made a bet that, I made a bet and I, I made that bet on the largest digital asset manager in space and that is Binance. I used to work for one of the largest asset managers in the space. I think probably Fidelity still is, the number one or two asset managers in, in, in the world managing trillions of dollars. I put my, I, I put my money on the decentralized organization that is Binance and they are the leader in the space, whether people like it or not. I know a lot of people don't like it, but that's the facts. Um, if we are successful, we will ensure that Binance remains the largest digital asset management space. You don't believe me? Look at the screen. Do you see where elephant money is? We're number 20 out of all protocols on Binance Smart Chain. Binance Smart Chain has the most activity uh, of any L1 outside of Ethereum. Okay. This right here, 41 million, this is grossly underreported. And what happens when we get our treasury back to where it needs to be?
when we had 21, when we had 212, 212 trillion, when we had 212 uh, trillion elephant in our treasury, we were at around here. So we could easily be in the top 10, right? The truth is we could, we could be number two easily. We can be number two. And that's simply by getting our treasury to over a billion dollars. We can do this. We can do this. Just the road to 212 trillion gets us here. And then we can easily power through all this. Okay. Um, So folks just need to understand that when you hear the FUD in the telegrams, when you hear the disrespect, um, like I'll be the first to say, like, I I did not like the way that AMA went yesterday. Um, I did it right in the morning again, just like today, uh, except earlier, um, I was running on. I was running on uh, not a lot of sleep, and um, but it was an ambush because uh, why are we talking about an exploit that happened over two months ago? No context, no where we are today, and then just answering questions from flutters in the chat. So I apologize uh, for how I handled that. I was kind of just going with the flow, you know, uh, but I could have took better c- control of that AMA. Um, but here's the thing. We're all human. We make mistakes. Uh, championship teams still lose games, okay? So uh, AMA is, you know, AMA is a diamond dozen. So we're here. The best AMA ever for elephant money. Why? Because you're here with me right now and we're going over this stuff. And I'm trying to put into context for you the fact that we are a championship team and that we're already winning. This is where elephant money is, 20. All those little rinky-dinky ROI platforms that you decide to put your money in, I'm not going to name any, I'm going to be good. I'm not going to name any names. I understand that a lot of us are trying to seek degen yield and all that good stuff. We know how this game works. We're trying to, we're trying to win. You know, we're making money in the bear market where no one else is, right? We know how to do this. We've been doing it, right? Okay. But look above. Do you see any of those names here? You see? Again, Pancake Swap, Venus, Alpaca, Buy Swap, Coinwin, Unicrypt, Nomi Swap, Ellipse Finance, Trans Chess, Index, Ape Swap, Beefy Finance, DeForce, Velas, maybe Velas, I have to take a look at Velas, Bunny, Baby Swap, Dot Finance, Night Swap, Cream. None of these have higher yields than this. We are here. We are present. We are winning. The flavor du jour that comes out next week or the month after. They're not going to pump your bags that are here right now in a platform that's winning, that's been around for over a year. There's been a a community that's been around for years with a core team that's has over 25 years of experience in space. 
What what space is that? Financial services, fintech, WebEx, Web one, two, three, ready for four and five to come. You know, us together, we can get from here to here, and then to here. What is our goal? What's the point of all this? The point is to build the largest community bank in the world. That's decentralized. That's 100% autonomous. Okay? We can fulfill that not not a year from now. I want to get it done this year. We were going to get it done. We were at 600 million AUM, okay? Right? It probably would have put us somewhere around here. You know, we've been in the top five. And God forbid if they just counted everything, right? DeFi Llama, this is our normalized, this is our normalized, um, they're very strict about how they count assets. This is our position normalized. So they're not counting a lot of assets that we count. But I did get them to count the treasury. All right, so enough of that. Our goal is to be one of the largest holders of B&B on the planet. Okay? So that's why when I say, hey, we need to, uh, you know, mint trunk or whatever, I understand that the mining trunk there's a lot of problems with trunk right now, but trunk is the situation with trunk is a symptom. It's not the cause. It's not the cause, right? You know, the ex the exploit damaged our treasury. Our treasury is inverted. Our treasury should be an order of magnitude at, at at a minimum larger than the circulating supply of trunk. That's not the case. Then we have a problem. Used to be a problem. So we always have to make sure that the treasury is large. Okay. Let's get out of where we rank, right? And let's let's get let's come to home, okay? So here we are sitting 112 million. We want this right here, elephant, the market cap. It's got to get back over 100 million, right? Um I'm going to just starting at the home page, I'm going to give you the playbook about how we approach this. Starting right from the homepage, we want this number here, our assets of management, we want this growing, we want this ticking up. You know, in that, that in March, we were on fire. Let's see what that means. We want this to be ticking up. And we want this to be ticking up, the, the market cap of elephant to be ticking up. We were on fire. What does that mean? Look. Look at it. All right. So, and let's let's do one thing here. Look at that. You see, I'm trying to line that line that up. So, actually, here we go. We can clearly see it. So, Where are we in terms of, let's go in here real quick. Uh, is that where I want to go? No, I want to go 5.7. So 5.7. Really? Something I'm not seeing.
Okay, I see. Okay, 5.7 puts us at in dollar value. 5.7 million puts us at February 18th. You see this? Okay, look at this chart. Our ascent, basically starting in December, do, 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 do. February 18th. February 18th. Now you, you see that you see this thing. You see the shape of this thing. February 18th, you know. How many times do you get the benefit of you know hindsight? And you're able to make a better decision with more information. Right. I use the analogy that we're a championship team. We've already played this game. Right. So BUSD value wise and look at that. Um, that was with a lot more elephant in the treasury. Wasn't it? 139 trillion. So we have less elephant in the treasury. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, man, we're going to have to take care of my ear. I feel like I, I feel like this thing is trying to get in my ear right now. Ugh. And now I have like headphones in and I can feel it and it's buggy. It's starting to bother me and I'm going to have to put some, uh, I'm going to have to fix that. <laughs> Sorry, technical difficulties. Um, you see that? So we had 139 trillion and, uh, with a value of five point. Seven million BUSD. So we have way more economic energy this time around. But I think I know what the difference is. The first time around, we had a lot more, you see all this? Let's see, yeah. Like we were able to amass a ton of elephant before the party even started. Before price action even started, we were able to put a lot of elephant on the board. And so, um, and I remember that phase. I was, I was definitely, you know, we weren't talking about elephant too much. And I was just watching the treasury and I was like, okay, you know, I was, I was, I was, I was helping Bertha get as much cheap elephant as possible. Um, things are different now, you know, the gig is up, so to speak. Um, but we can just do that in a different way. And that's why we have the buy with Bertha program. Right? You know, we were trying to kickstart our stable coin platform. And so there was a lot of incentive to get into the stable coins. Uh, and that was working fine and, and it did its job. Uh, but this time around, you know, You know, we have let, we have, so we have twice as much BUSD um, based on where we are right now, right here, right? So we have like, it's around 8.4 with 5.4 million. And then when we were at 8.4, we were about 
you know, 3 million or so. Okay. So, but the bottom line is we're based on where we are, at least in, we're, we're very close to the start. Well, I guess you could say we're, if you really want to evaluate it, we're either here at the very beginning of the parabolic ascent at the base right here, or if you want to look dollar value wise, we're here. But it doesn't take much for us to start walking up this. I would, I would, I would consider because ultimately it's about buying power. We should evaluate this based on dollars. Uh, and the parabolic ascent will be still in dollars, right? So. We'll probably climb. But the bottom line is like when we did this the first time, elephant was way less valuable. And we were getting a lot of elephant into the treasury. Now it's more now in this new situation, this new normal. Elephant is is more valuable. A lot more valuable. And. So the goal So let's not shortchange uh the people who are here now. Right? Let's not shortchange the people who are here now. What is your best strategy? Your best strategy is to buy and hold elephant now. It's always been the best strategy. I have a... Uh... Oh. My ears are really uncomfortable. Oof. Uh, I have a... I have a bag of elephant and I have a stampede bag. My elephant bag. Um, I used to have a really big elephant bag, you know, but you know, uh, I had to pay for things. Um, audits, all that stuff. Uh, so anyway, my elephant bag is been like a rock. And if you look at elephant, let's look at it on let's look at it on the daily. So if you look at it on the daily, elephant's the real stable coin. Why? Okay, I'll I'll just you know without picking on anyone, I'll just I'll just trunk looks like most of the market. Okay, what's going on with trunk looks like most of the market. Everything's just getting decimated. Um, actually, trunk is doing better than most of the market. You know, you know things are down. You know, fifty eighty percent, right? We're down here because of the stupid exploit. Okay, exploit. Boom. Exploit. This is in dollars, okay? No cheating. This is in dollars. Look at that. You know how many projects? The Bitcoin doesn't look like that. ETH doesn't look like that. Bitcoin and ETH, they look like this. Okay? Elephant's the stable coin. Your value has been protected in elephant. Diamond hands. Elephant. Okay? That's in dollars. Let's look at this differently. Okay? 
this red candle compresses what this looks like. But this growth is phenomenal. Let's zoom in. So, okay, to put it in perspective, before we before we before we zoom in, let's stay here. All right. Where are we? Right here. Okay. Two two nine four three two nine. That's good enough. Okay. You see that line? Boys and girls. You see that line? Oh, it's actually there. It actually paints it for us. Wow. I don't really look at charts too much. I'm all about money flow. And then the charts in, in this system, the money flow comes first, the charts come second. But would you freaking look at that? Where are we right now? We're here. See, these are the things, these are the simple things that I try to communicate. And I sound like a crazy person. If I didn't have a picture in front of me, and I'm in these AMAs with these YouTubers that have like their, their agenda or whatever, they want to get through their questions or whatever. You know, you got people in the chat, you know, talking about peg and stuff like that. You notice we haven't talked about peg yet once. And peg's not going to save us. Get, getting a stable coin to a dollar is not going to make everybody not come to our door. People don't care about that. People want gains. Okay. Where are we today based on where we were yesterday during the good times, which is March 14th? This is the parabolic curve. This is the ascent to greatness. This is where we are, people. This is where we are. Would you pay to get here? Would you kill to be here? Before all this? What if I told you that when we got to here, we had tons of whales that had positions of like 6 trillion, 5 trillion, 4 trillion. We don't have any of that anymore. We have like one person with 8 trillion. I think I'm in the top five with 3 trillion. And it goes down from there. Like, would you kill to get to get in to elephant here? Okay. And all of this, even here, we were outperforming the market. You 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 plot this versus B and B. You know we're out when you zoom in. We're like outperforming B and B. That's that's what this chart means. Like this is our growth versus B and B. And you, you look at this, like this is, you know, zoomed out on the daily. It's not much different, right? It's just that's our strength. Like, you know, versus B and B, this is this this sort of had like an uptick. I'll I'll show you one more time. But, you know, versus in USD, just absolute terms, we're solid as a rock. We need to get the buying going. We need to get the buying going. Are you going to be greedy when others are fearful? Are, are you going to get your, claim your stake now? What does this mean? What does this hard line in the middle of the worst economic conditions in modern times, when you have something like this versus the absolute market, when you see this line, when you see elephant in USD terms, what are you looking at? This is with this is with uh, the S and P five hundred, the Dow, BTC, and B and B all priced in. That's what this chart means. This is the all in priced in chart in US dollar value, and we are a freaking rock. How dare anybody come at us? And don't come at me. I'm from Philly. Okay? Shit. Look at this. How dare anyone come at us? 
We are strong. And now we have to get off our ass and follow through. I've been hustling. I've been hustling. I freaking rebuilt this whole system. As, you know, it wasn't just a little minor patch that everyone was like, oh, why didn't you just put a delay in there? Da, 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 flash loans. UST, UST did, and Luna, they, they weren't attacked by a flash loan, but they were attacked by a loan with only like less than 100 million more than what we were attacked with. So the people that wanted to hurt us, they can take out the money and they can hurt us. And they can do it over one transaction, they can do it over a couple transactions, but they're going to do it. So you need to have a system that's going to be able to um, operate without being impacted by any ask from an end user or a group of end users over time. And that's why we have this sort of disconnected sort of cold wallet style treasury now. And we had these governance strategies that are funded by APRs. That's why we have those. I think I have the peg support strategy is on, and I think it's actually set to a very high APY. Um, and that is, you know, the trunk price could have been tanking more than it is. I mean, the, the treasury is so small that, you know, it's probably uh, $6,000 max, six to $8,000 max every day anyway. But just letting people know that peg support is on, right? And obviously redemptions are on. And so without active participation, like we were here, like when there was all this euphoria, here's the thing. All of this, uh, especially get into March, uh, euphoria, seeing the system work, all of this, all of this was unknown. We didn't know we were going to get to here. We could have end. It could have ended here. Could have ended here. Could have ended here. We could have been like up, down, da, da 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 da. You know, down to the ground. This was all unknown. People just barreling in, putting their money in, buying tops. Remember, remember those days, buying tops, buying tops. Okay. Unknown. Right. We have the benefit of information. We have this. Look at all this. Daedalus. Look at this. We have analytics. You don't think, um, you know, five-year community in crypto? Five-year community in crypto across multiple blockchains, multiple active live smart contracts, tokens, running, still making people money across multiple blockchains. Third-party analytics like this. I, I, I was reviewing a pitch deck that someone did, someone did not too long ago, um, and I'm going to... Um, Get that little pitch deck and clean it up. Get that together. Um, you can get to this right off of the site right now, right? Uh, you don't think I can convince a couple of market makers and hedge funds to to get in to Elephant with all this data? Of course I can. Here's the thing. You need to get in before them. You need to double down in your position before them. You need to do what you need to do. Um, definitely don't throw any more money into these new... Uh, I, I, I don't... I'm all for the space. I'm in everything, you know. <laughs> I'm in avarice. Oh, my God. Uh, just just a little bit, like 30, 30 BNB. Uh, I'll I'll at least break even. I don't know how much profit I'm going to get. Um, 
but I'm bringing it all back home. And now is not the time to get into anything new. Now is, you know, I, I'm one of the largest whales in Drip Garden. And I've just been compound, compound, compound. If that thing drops down to 300,000 LP, that's when I'll be withdrawn. Uh, and it's all coming home, right? I've, I've been taking no profit there. Um, uh, these are the things that I, when people like look at my wallet and what I'm doing, um, I'm either paying bills like paying our marketing team, you know, we, you know, I don't do the Twitter. I don't do the face. I don't do Facebook. I don't do Twitter. I don't do Instagram. That's all handled by the marketing team. I don't, um, you know, I don't, we've been published several, we've been published in, in the, we've been published in time times magazine, us news world reports. You know, I have mentions in those things, you know, it mentions my name and it mentions elephant money. That's good for us. We'll eventually get our big stories and stuff. Okay. So, um, but, and that's all just build up, right? But these tools and everything, everything that we've built, uh, I just had a meeting with market maker after that AMA, I had a meeting with a, a market maker, um, and they were very interested. If they're not going to be able to do something organizationally, there's definitely people in the conversation that were like, yeah, I'm going to throw some money at this. And that's all we need is we need those conversations to get started with the people who are actually plugged into the big money. It's not that hard when you have all this. You know, we are not a fly by night organization and um, we're our, we already have a billion dollar valuation if we just do it by a 10x multiple. Right. We're already a billion dollar company. We're already bigger than Uber was when it was when when the uh, the valley was salivating over them. OK, you got to put this in perspective. Um, you know, there are people running around. Uh, oh, you need to hire a face or get a PR person. Do I sound like I need to get a PR person right now? You know. Uh, no, uh, this is, this is, uh, you need to hear this from the horse's mouth. No one's going to be able to replicate this context. There are a lot of people that, um, uh, get it and they can communicate in their own style. You got into crypto, you got SK crypto K, you got crypto slow. Uh, you got Mike Dre, you got tons of people that understand this thing. You also got people that were able to explain it when shit hit the fan, they left. They're not here anymore. They let us down. They haven't been doing this for 25 years. They don't eat, sweat, breathe this. I do. I'm not saying I'm Elon, but look at Elon. <laughs> I speak... I, I'm, You know, Elon's on the spectrum. <laughs> and I love him. You know what I mean? You know, uh, you're not here because, you know, we're a silver tongue salesman. You're here because we're speaking truth. We're here. You're here because that fucking de- goddamn it, MIT engineering matters. The way we attack problems, the way we don't give up, the way we don't get frazzled, the way we don't quit, and we're just trying to solve the freaking problem. Elon wants to get us to Mars. I want to get you to financial fucking freedom. Okay? Market independent financial freedom. Our internal whales financial freedom. The people who are participating now and that will never quit and will never give up on this community that are invested in this community the money mans of the world, the people behind the scenes that Ed is bringing in, people that run distilleries, you know, liquor businesses, 
all kinds of businesses that you don't know about. Why do we have the? Why do you think we have the TVL that we have? Because we have silent partners that believe in us, that are vested in us, to make sure that we're going to carry everyone along. Okay. And now we have the numbers. We've always had the numbers. They've always been important. But now they're plain to see. We're ready for the big money here, people. We already rank the best in the world. All the other things, the little DeFi, DGen things that we're in, they're not up here. But we are. Right? We're right here. And we want to be right here. And we can get here before before this year's over, okay? Let's let's talk about what how we do that, okay? And then I'm going to take questions after that. Um how are we going to do this? All right. Oh, wow. Look at that. So 241. Let's do this. Look at this. See, this is participation here. Look at this. Look at the stats. 241. 241 participants. This is going to, that's going to be our largest round ever. This is the second contract, by the way. Uh, I only show the past seven days anyway, but, um, uh, let's see. The pots have been, the pots are smaller, but you see how this works now. This is with a $5, $5 entry level ticket before we had a $100 ticket, right? And in our, our first week, our first week, we were doing like, you know, 20, 20 K. So like we're doing five X, but you know, we have 7,000 participants in, we, we, no, let's scratch that. Across the entire set of elephant holders, we have easily over 18. The Dune Anal Analytics says we have a lot more. Uh, let's see. Yeah, for Stampede, it says we have around 8,000. For elephant holders, so it says we have 25,000. And for some reason, uh, on BSC scan, it's still kind of stuck at 18. So there's, I got to figure out why that is. And if, if Daedalus is listening, um, we got to figure out what this discrepancy is. Um, but I have a feeling that he's doing better calculations for this number. This number makes more sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me that it would just be going down, down, down. That doesn't make sense at all. Because... Um, this does not tell me that we're losing holders, right? This stablecoin action here <laughs> is not telling me that we're losing holders. Um, all right. So how do we get, how do we get to where we need to be? We need to carry Bertha along. That's what's going to be an ongoing process. Um, if you have a position in Stampede down, keep grooming that position. Just roll. Claim if you have to. I I have to claim. I have to cover expenses. As you know, this is my 100% full-time job. I'm 100% dedicated to this. Um, I I, you know, the marketing budget for this month, this past month alone is almost $70,000. What do you mean, BT? How, how can the marketing budget be $70,000? Uh, there are multiple people who, you know, receive, you know, kickbacks for producing content, uh, uh, for, for helping uh, manage 
um, Telegram, doing things here and there, all that stuff, you know, uh, a lot of intangibles that you don't see. We have a marketing and PR team that's helping us do, you know, get, get the articles in, you know, get mentions. They're doing all the social media, you know, is there room for improvement there? There is. I'm probably, um, you know, crypto love is like one of those people that I mentioned, you know, you know, who, who re receives, um, who's on the team and, uh, I'm going to have him take a more active role in helping manage the marketing team. So we have like a traditional, but fairly well connected, you know, Hollywood level, uh, marketing team. Like, you know, our marketing, our PR, our PR marketing team has, has worked for, you know, Hollywood royalty. And, and music royalty, right? Uh, they they come out of uh, uh, EMI, uh, Weinstein Group, all that stuff. Like they they are connected, so uh, we just need to leverage them better. And um, if the community plays their part, if we do what if the herd does what it needs to do, it, it's going to make things easier. Okay, so. Brass tacks, we have to get, we have to get this chart fixed. So we're about basically here. That's a good position to be in. And we're going to be walking up here. And that's with, this is with certainty. We're going to be walking up, walking up this line. So, um, we tried a couple of experiments. Um, when you minted trunk, when you when you mint trunk, um, you get entered in a raffle, and it only takes five dollars. Uh, oh, that raffle just ended. Okay, cool. So we can go here and see how that ended. Two hundred and forty-two, six point seven. Not bad. Not too bad. Um, let's see who won. All right. This entropy engine, this is all on chain. No dependencies. No dependency on chain link. No worrying about, oh, um, chain link changed something. Now everybody who's integrated needs to change how they're getting the data. You know, you have X amount of days. Or you have a, a year to do it. But after a year, the thing's going to break. None of that. This is on chain. This entropy engine I worked on. Um, it uses commit reveal strategy. Uh, I know that was one of the questions uh, that was listed. It uses a commit reveal strategy. It 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 folds random numbers uh, from previous blocks that are picked randomly. Uh, so it it builds more entropy as it continues to run. Um, I've used this to power uh, dice games on Tron that were never, that like, were never hacked, never exploited. Um, so that's the benefit of that. Uh, da, 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 da. So now we have, let's see. So, This raffle, you can participate in this raffle by minting trunk. But that's let's talk about that for really quickly. Let's not dive too deep into it. But why why is this painful? Well, it's painful because of this. Because you can basically buy trunk off a of pancake swap for thirty cents on dollar. And when Bertha gets big enough, Bertha will be buying this cheap trunk as well. And well, and eventually, you know, when Bertha gets large enough, what's gonna, there's two things at play. When Bertha gets large enough, she can buy off the open market, shift that to the trunk treasury or burn it, right? Uh, but she also can uh, provide more to a redemption pool, which means that the redemption pool queue will move faster. And that's that's actually where we want to be. We want to get to a point where 
the redemption queue is 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 fairly small and empty because we're at peg on pancake swap so it should also make sense to people that when we're at peg on pancake swap the redemption queue is emptied because nobody is redeeming because they're just trading on pancake swap where they can put their full value in and then people can just quickly arbitrage on pancake swap like so if things like so say like somebody does a big buy and we go below peg and like you know they can buy up say it takes like 10,000 10, 10,000 BS, BUSD to get back to peg that person will just buy off a pancake swap with the $10,000 and then they can take that um they can take that uh trunk and either stake it or bond it right and and they've basically got been able to acquire that trunk at a discount and then earn yield on it so the play if you are looking at this price and you have the capital then an easy play is always to just like hey you could you could buy this here right and then just stake or bond it so basically right here you basically 3xing your yield if you're able to get, if you're able to get, if you're able to acquire your principal at a at some multiple less than what uh, than full price, then by that same multiple you're increasing your yield, right? So you know, multiply this by three. Okay. So 600, 600% APR, I mean, that's like insane APY, okay? That's how a lot of people are going to win. When you see these big, when you see big buys happening still here right now, that's how they're winning. That's their strategy. Buy this cheap. And it's not inflated supply, right? It's the supply of Trump was going to be the same no matter what. It's just... Certain people can, it's not going it, to, this, the price of trunk here, it's not changing how much trunk is coming into it, into existence. Okay. What it's saying is, is the people who are selling to bring this price down are effectively giving the, the buyers of trunk at this price uh, opportunities to get a larger slice of the money supply at a discounted rate. And people who are selling to bring this price down here are effectively lowering the liabilities of the system, of the platform, of the herd. They're saying, okay, I'll take my money now. You know, I'll take my, my, my money at 30 cents on the dollar. You know, that's less liability that the system has to pay out in absolute terms. Because remember, Elephant needs to get converted to BUSD and paid out. So when this peg comes down to here, you don't need to look at this as like, we're not UST. We're not saying, hey, we're the end all be all of stable coins. We want you to integrate this stable coin into all of these different decentralized platforms, all of the, we want to be, we want to be a, a central point of failure for the in, in, in entire DeFi market. How'd that work out? No, Trunk is a stable coin because we want people to have a fair entry or at least a fair range of entry between zero and $1. <laughs> um, to enter this system and participate. So we don't have these mega outsized whales that paid way less to get in than anybody else. What does that mean? That means that anyone entering the system now, this is the best time for people to, like, after everything I've shown so far, do you really think we're going anywhere? We've been here for five years doing this stuff already. We have this huge community already. 
You know, we have paid paid fudders everywhere to try to fud us out of our bags to to convince you that I don't know what the hell I'm doing, which is insane because I've been in doing this for 25 plus years. That I, you know, directly reported to billionaire for project for his pet project that's still running today. I got the master service agreement signed between Fidelity and Amazon, and 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 now Fidelity runs majority of their infrastructure on Amazon. There was no Amazon before me. I helped them get there. First project in the whole company on Amazon. Okay, so um, that was Fidsafe. So, like, and I'm going to start calling favors. I I am absolutely going to start calling favors. You guys are impatient. You haven't been through this. I worked on projects for years before before they see the light of day. So, what does that mean? That means that we've been searching for product market fit. And not only that, but it has to all just work. We're at the point, look, this is a, this is an engine. We got third party developers plugging in. He's showing you the heartbeat. He's showing you all the vitals of a system that's working. Of a system that fundamentally is what? Up and to the right. Up and to the right. Okay? Let's get back. So this raffle, that's just an incentive. But the way you want to think about it is just go about your business of minting as you need to mint, buying off a pancake swap for opportunities, right? And definitely getting this. What is this? This is the Tesla stock. Buying Elephant, this is the Tesla stock. This is the Amazon stock. This is the Facebook stock. This is the getting in on the ground floor stock. What does that mean? It means that this is $3.00. In 28 cent Bitcoin right now with the with supply adjusted price of elephant right now is under four dollars. During all this. During all this parabolic action, all this, all this green, all this buying tops, all this euphoria and excitement. And elephant is unstoppable. All that. All this, remember those days? They're coming. This is our summer. We get our act together. We start moving as the herd. We were moving as the herd. Remember, we were like, hey, press the stampede button. Press the stampede button. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Remember those days? They're here now. And we're better than ever. Look at all. Look at all. This is amazing. I, I got a pitch deck that some, I got, I don't have one deck. I don't have two deck, three deck. You know how many pitch decks I have on deck? And we just got to get them cleaned up. But I'm going to get Crypto Love and, and some others to help out with that. And we're going to you know, make better use of our, our marketing team you know, uh, that we pay for. I'm not going to give exact numbers, but we played, you know, that's like an easy, you know, in marketing, base marketing expenses is an easy 10 grand. Uh, oh, oh, and, and I wanted to explain why our marketing expenses are $60,000. You know why it's $60,000? Because we have a promotion running right now. So the winner, the raffle winner and the max winner for these raffles, they're getting an extra 1K trunk each. Okay. Ignore this. One trunk is one trunk, okay? I'm smiling. Uh, to me, okay, so this is this is my dry powder. This 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 comes from the performance pool. 
I got 37,000 trunk here. And the problem is, is that it's the 28th. And yeah, the hmm. I'm gonna do one thing. Uh, let's see. Bear with me one second. Give me one second. One second. This will have to do. Okay. Um, so this 37, this is prop. a lot of this is going to, a lot of this gets sent to different wallets for people who accept their payment in trunk. I really need the marketing team to start accepting the payment in trunk. <laughs> it doesn't look so bad. Um, and then I have to convert the rest to USD. Some, uh, some of it has to get converted. And then for like, uh, you know, hosting expenses, my own personal expenses, all that stuff is this, this is what I'm working with. So in this case right here, you know, I have a little bit more dry powder on the actual uh, deployer side, but the performance pool These performance rewards, they get dumped. They get dumped into here, and then they help me pay for, like, these winners every day. So um, I think I paid out to the 14th. So I have the rest of this month. I have, let's see, 30, like 30,000 trunk at least in payments, over 30,000 trunk in payments that need to be made just for the raffle itself. And I already did um, the first half. The first half wasn't all two winners. It used to be just one winner, but you know, that's where we're at right now. So anyway, um, let's focus. So what do we need to do as a community? Um, I would say You can play around with this opportunity here with trunk while it's depegged. And there's there's gonna be there's gonna be epic stories. People are gonna have epic stories around how they were able to grow their position buying off peg trunk during the recovery phase. Okay? That's a reality. This is an opportunity. To, there's no way to look, no way, you know, it's, it's a liability for the people. It's a liability for the system. It's a liability for people who absolutely, like myself, who absolutely have to cash out, which basically means that this is only $10,000, which basically means that maybe even for this, I mean, I, I'm going to have to either sell a lot of trunk or I might just have to like sell my own pers personal elephant, you know, to, to, to pay some bills right now. Um, I don't want to, but we'll figure it out. I always do. So for all the pocket watchers out there, that's what's going on. So, you know, um, this is it. And let's see, but how, how, how do you win? How do you win? Uh, buy with Bertha. So I came up with this after looking at all the data, looking at, looking at all this. I came up with this because, you know, people aren't getting into the raffle how they need to because they're not necessarily winning. And because of the current market condition, nobody wants to really buy anything, let alone a stable coin. You know, with the stable coin, it, it's, it's going to take time 
and we and, and it doesn't necessarily build the confidence that we're going to get back to peg either right like you know you have to kind of see a trend reversal in this and without a tr- trend reversal in this then it comes very hard to like put money into this like i saw all this you know james pelton latched onto that but it's like duh of course Of course. You don't think I know that? Like, that's why I built this over the weekend before I had the interview yesterday. You know? All built out. Numbers telling you exactly how much you need to put in and everything, right? You can buy or sell elephant and 8 to 8.5% is going to go to Bertha. Uh, if you have a partner... So your partner, your partner in the partner network here, my partner is slow. I got a little small team, you know. You got a partner, right? This is full transparency. I got a three trilly bag. And I got about over a little over 600K. And I've been rolling recently. I've been, I was like a 400 and 500K forever. Then I was taken out, diversifying a little bit um, just because I have to. Um, I've had to diversify several times throughout this journey. Um, you know, we're, we're building the forever system. But if we don't get it right, guess what? You got to fall back on something. So, you know, I've leveraged platforms like Drip, you know, which is basically, you know, bankroll flow with the bugs fixed. Um, and that's worked out great, you know. And it's still kind of working out great. Just like Trunk is, even at 30 cents on the dollar, Trunk and Stampede and everything else is, you know, if you're just compounding that yield, you don't care. You're good. It'll get back to peg. It's, you can redeem, you can get in this redemption queue, right? You can get in this redemption queue and get your money back full value. This takes a little while. But that, but that, um, we open this up. This thing's paying out. It's getting financed and it's paying out. And it'll get faster. But we just need to buy with Bertha. So what does that mean? It means you get entered in the, into the raffle. It means that you get 5%, 0.5% from all of your team. So if you're a large promoter, and everybody's, you know, what should we be doing as the herd? We should all just be buying elephant through this buy with Bertha program. Very easy message. So they say, what's Bertha? Bertha is the elephant treasury, period. You know, we need that elephant. The ele- Bertha pays for everything. All of the governance, all of the governance activities. These all have APRs associated with them. Right. These are all paid out through the treasury. Like it, it, it takes elephant out, converts it to whatever it needs to convert it to and, and runs the, the particular actions, whether it be liquidity building or buybacks or, um, or, or sending yield out to a particular location, all that stuff. That's all paid out through Bertha. So so you just buy and sell here and you know she's getting uh 8% of whatever you put in and that's going you know and we just need to 
by like our lives depend on it because it does. Not only for it, like if 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 you want to just stay in twentieth place, keep playing around. Keep not doing what you're supposed to do. If people come into my chat and Telegram and continue after this AMA, continue to why don't we do this? Why don't we do that? I'm taking it as soft fud. You're going to get a timeout. This dashboard here, this person, Daedalus, I haven't even talked directly to this person yet. That's how busy I've been. Uh, uh, I'm out. I'm breaking out in a rash all over my body. Immune system weakened because of stress because of this hack since April. I've been coding nonstop since April. I got people who who have known me all my life saying. God damn, man, you're pumping out code like no tomorrow. You, you haven't stopped. They know that this is like the most work I've like done nonstop in my life. To recover from a hit that took the, that took the largest institutions in the space out of the game. We got hit just as hard. We're still here. We're here because of you. We're here because of past you. We're here because of me. They're here because of past me. I made a decision a long time ago. Locked fucking liquidity. What does that mean? That means that BT under stress today doesn't make a mistake that exposes all of our liquidity to the hacker and they take it all. Elephant here, this elephant token is rock solid. You can invest in this elephant token alone and make the magic happen. Investing in this elephant token alone gets us here. It gets us back to peg. It, it, it's the whole ball game. This is the whole ball game. Okay. I sound like a crazy person jumping around like this. Without the visual, you can't keep up. I don't sound like a crazy person with the visual, do I? When I'm going to conferences and representing the, the financial institutions that I used to work for, when I when I helped form the Node.js Foundation and had Fidelity as a founding member. I did that. I had to present with visuals, okay? So these audio-only AMAs and stuff where, and especially if the, you know, you know, if, if, if the interviewer is not in the weeds, you know, like most of us are, then yeah, it's going to sound like crazy talk. But this is not crazy talk. You know, you got the visuals. You can keep up. So, yeah. So this is simple. Get your bag up. Look at that. This has been around 200K forever. <laughs> How do you know? Because it's been like that. Like, not for, you know, since the exploit. I haven't had to worry about the size of my bag. Look at that. You get it? Is it clear to you? Look at this. Look at that. Juicy. Get. It's not too late for the Chili Club. I know a lot of you can do it. Do it. Do it. You. This is this is a a multi millionaire bag right here. This is a multi millionaire bag right here. Our first ten x. That's two million dollars. Our first 100x, that's $20 million. $3 trillion, $20 million. You think I'm playing? I am not playing. I'm not playing. You shouldn't either. There you go. Boom. It's easy. 
oh, look, so if I put 0 0.1, 0 0.1 in, that's 310. But for me to get entered into the raffle, I need it to be at least 848. Okay. 0 0.3. Okay. Now I have enough. 930 million. I have enough to enter the raffle. I, I execute this, I'll enter the raffle. I'm not going to do it now because I don't have to deal with the ledger and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, that's how we win. Buy with Bertha, get your, get your elephant bag up. Uh, don't worry about, oh, oh, but like, but if I went stampede, I would get the divs and look at this APY. Forget all that because we're going to, we're going to do X's here because you know why we're going to do X's here? Because we're all going to do the same damn thing. And if you don't want to do the same damn thing after this AMA, this AMA would be posted everywhere. It'd be posted in the medium. It'd be posted in telegram. It'd be posted in discord. It'd be posted on YouTube. Here's the thing. For months now, we've been saying two things. Mint trunk, buy elephant. We've been saying that already. Now, I'm simply saying, for those of you with the resources and with, that don't need the hand-holding, go ahead. Keep playing with trunk. This next month, going into this next month, going into July, we have at least one more month minimum of paying for trunk. I don't want to hear about Trunk. If you talk about Trunk in the chat, you are gone or you are muted. If you come in the chat and talk about in Telegram, you want to talk about Trunk, go to, go to Discord. But if you want to come and cause ruckus about Trunk in Telegram, we're going to say one thing. Look at the five-hour AMA that, <laughs> that BT did. <laughs> <laughs> and then come back and then only then after you watch the five hour AMA the best elephant AMA ever then you can talk about Trump but you can't talk about it in Telegram you gotta talk about it in Discord okay where BT's not at <laughs> no just kidding but just okay there's going to be at least one more month of pain because why because we're concerned about this we know that Bertha, the elephant treasury, Bertha, I might not ask him to actually put Bertha here in parentheses. That'll be beautiful. Um, we know that this, this is our, this is the game that we're playing. We're playing the, let's go up, let's push up the parabolic curve. I say, I say parabolic curve. People are like, he's targeting riddles. <laughs> no, this is what a parabolic hockey stick curve looks like, folks. And we are here. We are here. Except we're here. We're here. <laughs> but basically, like, what's, what, when this like, goes out, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be like, Roop! and it's going to go back up again. <laughs> and we're going we're gonna to have the sickest, most insane chart in all of crypto. Okay, so there's one thing. So this is the USD chart. It shows it like as a stable coin. One second. This is, this is, so people say, well, why do you ask people to look at the chart this way? I want people to be focused on where we're at right now. And so, you know, maybe go back uh, three weeks. So look at, look at elephant on the four hour. And instead of looking at it versus USD, that's the entire market price then. That's good. But we have to acknowledge that our one externality or is Binance and Binance Smart Chain. I'm comfortable taking that bet. Here's why. In a very short period of time, This platform is going to make a lot of people rich. We're not all going to cash out of the platform at the same time, right? And we're not all going to take everything out at the same time. Why? Because this is our freaking bank. We're going to keep our money here. 
this is this is not the kind of platform where you earn the yield, you take it away, and that's it. Like that's the problem. Um, this is a bank. Like, this 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 is working because our our wealth is stored here. Um, uh, Elephant is the Bitcoin. In a very short period of time, we are going to show that we have built a alternative form of money on the Binance Smart Chain that is completely, well, can't say completely because this, this is what the market priced in. We look like a stable coin, um, a struggling stable coin right here in this current time frame. But this is the real picture. This is what we're trying to communicate, right? And this is gonna this is gonna go wonky once we put the once we put the um, exploit in. We're getting close. There we go. Boom. Exploit flattens all our progress. But look at it. We were. Uh, And guess what? We're only one zero away. To get back to here, we just have to do our. We just have to do the 10x, folks. We're at point zero eight zeros two nine two eight in B U in B and B value in B and B value. In B and B value. So B and B. So as we do this ascent, if B and B gets this act together, we're going to pop back to pre exploit folks in B and B value. In B. Okay. Ooh, look at this. In B and B value, we've already three X. From the bottom. In B and B value, we have 3x from the bottom. And like I think a lot of people know that already. It's it and then you can actually see it. Look. Look at this line here. Look at this gap. Look at this gap. Look how much area we've covered. How many of those is it? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven x. Seven x. We're looking. This whole exploit is erased. No one should be DMing me right now. Okay, just let you know. Get my phone out. Um, look at that. That's a, that, that's the work. We're talking to not even a 10x in BNB value. We have to just keep gobbling up BNB. Look how much pool B and B here. Not to mention, this is just this is not counting the BSD that we have in the other LP. Okay, but that's why that's why I, that's why you have to move just you have to move just beyond. You have to start here, right here, because this is when the fix came out. This is when. The initial fix came out and then building, 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 building. So this, and so from here, yeah. So I expect us to see green candles here. Bye, bye, bye. And if you can't buy, promote. Build your team. You're going to get 0.5% of whatever they put in. Don't talk about trunk. Have I talked about this at all, this chart at all today? No. Um... Don't talk about it. Don't need to talk about it. 
Um, if you're a, an experienced member of the herd, then you know what to do to make money here. You know, buy low, sell high. Hello, buy low, sell high. You want to get this $1 redemption? It says redemption under here, people. This says pancake. What's the price of Trump? It's one dollar. It's one dollar. On pancake, it's off peg. But if you want to redeem Trump, it's one dollar. You'll have to wait because we're in recovery mode. But we have a, a, a clear path. The clear path is just buy Trump. Get your bag up. Be a millionaire with me. You know? And that's 7X. Let's, let's zoom back out. And that's 7X to get us back to here. I'll be a multimillionaire. An elephant. That... Is the real stable coin? <laughs> is, is on the daily. On the daily. Now look at that. Now see, look at that. Look at that. Like you could even look at that. Look at that chart. Which you know what? This was exceptional. It was beautiful, and we paid the price, and we got hit. But did that stop us? No. But also look at this. If we were just regular mortals, if we weren't the herd, that chart would have been acceptable too. If, if we weren't the herd, this chart would have been acceptable too. Get some goddamn perspective, people. We are winning. We are winning. I don't want to hear all of these goddamn bullshit suggestions about anything. I want people to get off their ass and fucking move as the freaking herd. We are winning. We're winning. We stay winning. We are winning. People coming into our chat, it's FUD. Me being sick and doing a scrubby AMA is FUD. I'm FUDding. If you really want to understand what's going on, you need to see the pictures. You need to see the effort. You need to see the work. You need to see the community contributions. I wish I, I wish I could be, bring up that pitch deck. Like, there's a pitch deck um, that Mike Dre, Mike Dre was circulating. Um, yeah, we we have yes, we have talented people that we can mobilize. We have into crypto. We have SK. You know how many conversations I've had with SK? Um, SK, yeah, we need to really do the. Uh, um, we need to do the. Between uh, uh, crypto slow and SK, like a slow SK, we really need to get on doing the um, uh, Elephant Money University. Like that, like really needs to get done. Like I asked you to do that like months ago. Like where is that? We need to get that done. Like these conversations do happen. No one has to tell me. No one has to get on me to, for me to do my work. Okay. No one has to get on me to do my work. I do my work, right? You guys have seen, you know, the progress, the corrections, the improvement of the external marketing team that we, you know, agency that we have hired. There's improvements there. There's more work to be done there. I'm going to get Crypto Love. You see the work that Crypto Love does. Like Crypto Love did a, uh, um, you know, he does motion graphics that are like top notch.
he needs to be on that agency's ass and help get the language, get the vibe, get the quality all up, you know, and I'm going to be focused on investor relations. I'm going to be focused on, um, you know, building out a third party development crew. I have. I have a whole UI. Uh, that's ready to go. Let me let me do one thing. Um, ah, I don't want to show that. I have a, a whole UI that's done, but it's just not up to snuff. It's just not up to snuff. So. I'd rather have this, at least for the summer, I'd rather have this as functional, you know, and I'd rather be 100% focused on uh, healing and making sure I don't have any permanent scars from all this medical stuff that I'm going through um, with the, the, just the, with the, uh, the rash. And, uh, Yeah, I mean this is this is the pure this is pure pack. And the other thing this conversation that we're having or this presentation, this AMA, I'm giving you the raw inside look. This is you're not these devs that go in front of the, the the, the YouTubers and, and, you know, it's all smiles and they're trying to come off as likable and all this stuff. That's bullshit. Okay. How's that working out for you? How are those platforms doing that have only been around less than a year, a couple months? Have all the whiz bang features and price still going down. Okay. This requires passion, dedication, because for damn sure, that's the only way this gets built when I need to be laying on my ass watching Netflix and in healing and not being stressed. OK. I get eczema and ring worn flaring up at the same time because of stress. Whew. OK. Netflix movie coming out in five years, okay? <laughs> Remember where you were, people. No, seriously, we're going to change the world. Um, we're going to make a lot of money, okay? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I mean, I can't. There's no way to sugarcoat it. This is, this is the whole ball game. Just buy here. You'll get entered into the raffle uh, with a chance to win. Uh, uh, you're going to get a minimum. So what? Uh, $300, $1,300, $1,400. These two players, they, they, they want $1,400. But if we get this participation number up into the thousands, oops, I hope I didn't mess up my, uh, let me check one thing. Test, test, test. There we go. That's still working. Okay. So we get we get this up into the thousands. It's it's game changing, okay? You know? And that's all community powered, no dependencies on anything else, you know? So look at this. This is a max winner. This guy's working hard to be the max, the max payer. Win. This person has a, this person here has a strategy. Mm. So, let's take some questions. Let me. I have one second. Uh, 
So somebody asked about the raffle. I think I covered that. The raffle uses the commit reveal strategy. It uses a, a entropy engine, which like uh, folds random numbers from random blocks, uh, um, and that happens regardless of user input. Uh, um. Is the trunk buyback strategy paused? The trunk buyback strategy actually is not paused. Um, it's running. And so that's one of the reasons why this elephant treasury is kind of going really slow because Bertha's actually working and paying out. She's paying out people. She's paying, she's buying trunk, um, but she's not getting enough participation. So that's why the, where the buy with Bertha comes in. And everyone should just focus on getting their bag up. It's not too it's not too crazy of an ask because it's not too crazy of an ask. Because of all because of this. Because of this and because of this, you know, it's pretty, and then let's just go back to the one day. Yeah, because of the stable coin action in, in the USD, you know. This is accumulation. What, is it, what does this mean? It means that the market, because of market conditions, when we're looking at a USD value, it's because of market conditions that we, we, you have the opportunity to accumulate. You literally have the opportunity to accumulate, and so, and what does this also mean? It means that there were, no, if there was no buying, if there weren't people, there were the smart. <laughs> what does this tell you? You can't do this without pictures of people. What does this tell you? If no one was buying, this would be the exact same shape as B and B, which means it would be going down, just just going down during this whole period, you know, with the rest of the market. The reason it's going horizontal is because the smart money, the smart players in the herd are accumulating. And that's why, and it's not mooning. They don't want to, you know, they don't want to alert you to the fact that they're accumulating. When this is horizontal, when the rest of the market is red, it means that uh, there are holders in Elephant that are silently accumulating. And I was actually one of them because I went from two trillion to three trillion over this period of time. So, um, but now you have massive incentive. You have a raffle that you can win. You have. Um, you have a raffle that you can win. Uh, you have 0.5% rewards that you can receive from your team. You have a 1.5% discount on taxes to build your Bertha bag. And as you build your Bertha bag, um, you're not going to miss out on the opportunity. You're going to grow proportional to Bertha. And, you know, we're going to get this up, Okay. So that's what needs to happen, and that's going to be the whole con that's going to be the conversation like till the end of the year. Like, you know, trunks off peg. Oh God, we failed. We have a shitty stable coin. Moving on, or you know, uh, maybe I'll work on trunk V two. Maybe. I don't think so though. I don't think I need to. Why would I work on trunk V two? I would work on trunk V two because that's how we get to peg. <laughs> You have the whole existing system, you know, the whole, the whole systems, all the smart contracts have been reworked. Trunk's not even properly listed on, on coin market cap in coin gecko. So we could release a trunk V2 without a lot of pain. You know, I could have liquidity controls in place. So trunk would not be lock liquidity. As long as we don't have lock liquidity, then it's very easy to maintain peg. I just pull, you know, lose peg, pull liquidity, fix peg, you know, put it back, you know, done. Um, very easy algorithm, 
you know, it, it, we basically keep the, we keep we artificially keep the liquidity low. We keep the liquidity in proportion to whatever wherever the treasury is, so that the treasury can easily maintain the grooming functions based on size. So that means that the liquidity pool, the right sized liquidity pool for trunk would be in the hundreds of thousands, you know, so very low liquidity. Right now we have very deep liquidity. But, you know, we would basically, if people want to enter or exit the system, we want to force them into the minting and redemption functions. That's what, and if you, uh, if you take a system like Horde, it's like a hybrid of what Horde does. So Horde, um, I think it's like a play to earn game. It has these concept of plots and, you know, it has the Horde stable token or it's not a stable. It's a, it's a token that stays in a particular range. It's not a stable coin per se, but it's a range bound coin. But the re the, how they do that is you can't even buy through pancake swap. It's just there for, you know, read only purposes you do all of your purchases through their custom uh, exchange. So like in our case, our custom exchange is the mint and redeem function, you know. So similarly, you can do the same thing there. And then they just um, use a, a chunk of the funds. The majority of the funds are held in their third-party exchange. And then they just have... Um, they push some funds to pancake swap to reflect the price and to get all the benefits of like pancake analytics integration. Um, so we could do something similar there and just keep very low supply for trunk and have you go through mint redeem. But that only makes sense if mint redeem is moving fast. Right. Uh, but the point is we have a ton of lock liquidity you don't necessarily have to add more liquidity. Um, it's going to grow on its own as demand increases. But like, uh, that's what's up there. So, anyway, uh, let's get see with the next question. Is let's see, what is the slow? What is the reason for the slow growth of tre of the treasury? Since this is what is the reason for the slow growth of the treasury? you know, in the, in the past couple of weeks or days. Um, lack of focus, lack of direction, not for lack of available tools, which we've covered now, right? Not for lack of demonstrable progress and understanding about where we are and what the opportunity is. Where we are, where we've been, and what the opportunity looks like, okay? I built this community for five years. This is my community. If you wanna be successful, and if you wanna enjoy the, some of the success that I've, that I've had over the years, then, you know, continue to, you know, continue on this journey with me. If you don't like what I'm doing, this is an open space. You can join another project. You can start your own project, right? You know, this particular community and project has spawned lots of projects. Most of them have failed. Is the other every, every 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 bull run cycle we have we spawn clones and they all fail, and we still are miraculously here. That's actually something I've never said. Uh, this bull run, but in case you're new, that's what happens. I'm not wishing it. I'm just simply saying that <laughs> we have clones of pretty much all the old work that we did on bankroll. None of that exists. And bankroll still actually still running and earning money. 
<laughs> and people are getting excited about Tron price and stuff for a while or, you know, it's, it's crazy. I don't even look at bankroll. I stopped claiming from bankroll, um, over six months ago. Um, but some people are still swear. Like there are people in the bankroll chat right now. Uh, so yeah, but this one's different. Like, no, you know, uh, we're here and we're we're a ranked team and, and we're making our way to the finals and to the championship. Okay? We rank. We're going to the final we're going to the playoffs and we're going to the championship. That's a fact, Jack. Okay? And we do it by just be greedy when others are fearful. <laughs> and there's no need to fear because <laughs> the smart money is is in this to win this. And when the rest of the market has been tanking, Elephant has been performing like a stable coin. <laughs> because the smart money is accumulating. So accumulate with all these great incentives. Okay. Let's take another question. So the reason for the slow growth is because we need to have a coordinated plan that makes sense to everyone. Minting, as great as the minting was working, it was working. The minting was working. Um, but it's just not enough. Given our size, we're in the majors here. So, uh, I think the, f I think here, here's the reality. You know, we're not in a bubble. You know, I know that you guys are, you know, taking money out of Elephant, put it into Avarice, put it into, you know, I'm not going to name other ones, but like, just try it, grab it at straws. No, don't do that. It's going to take a t like they will, those projects in this bear market, those projects will never have the liquidity we have. They won't. Avarice doesn't. They won't have this amount of money. This is just elephant. This is not including anything else. Elephant liquidity, like it's not including trunk liquidity and stuff. Like, they're not going to have this. They don't have the community. They just don't have the community, and the appetite's gone. It, 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 too late. And we had to work for years to get to where we could build something like this up. And we're not letting this go. I mean, I talked about with... Uh, there's, a, there's a concept called share of wallet in the financial services industry. You have to understand there's just only one customer and you don't own them. You have a share of wallet. You have, you know, how much of their assets are they going to give to you or entrust to you for you to custody? Feeling some kind of way, feeling really bad for the folks at Celsius, feeling really bad for the folks at Anchor. I mean, I had people saying when I we were building out, they were like, you know, hey, you know, your your stuff's whatever, you know, I'm, I'm trusting my big money in UST. I'll take my twenty percent, thank you. I don't need your uh, your Ponzi nomics and all that stuff. This isn't Ponzi nomics. We're 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 uh, we have a lot of talented people. And, uh, in, in, in our community. And, um, you know, I made the simple observation that there's more than one way. Like, I've worked extensively with AMMs and with liquidity pools, and I made certain observations, and I'm putting that to work to basically be able to generate yields in a community. My first con, my very first contract, Community-driven yield. 
My second major contract, community driven yield. Those first two experiments were based on community driven yield generated through um, fees, through fees. This is generated through fees as well, transaction fees as well, but it's to, but it's to further exercise um, dynamics around circulating supply and a pre price appreciation in an AMM when you have uh, a certain amount of supply that's captive and held by the protocol itself. So the way we create yield now is we just have, you know, a built-in engine block in storage that's owned by the protocol, you know, and that's as, as we're getting price appreciation, we just scrape the cream off the top and that's where the yield comes from, period. But you need, you need a lot of things to do that. You need a dedicated community that's been up and running for a while to do that. And you need, you need very competent, extremely competent management. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> that's okay. No, uh, but, uh, yeah, so it, it is what it is. Like, you know, a lot. Can other people code? Yes. Of course. For any developer out there, 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
And I'll just be probably just keep building this up. And I'll just pay myself monthly or something. Or, you know, uh, if this is that peg performance pull, she grow a little bit and she'd be all set. Uh, but that's the, that's the thing here. So this was funded, you know, uh, I guess starting around 400 K with just all my, my personal funds here. Right. And, uh, since I'm the custodian, the performance pool is set to dump here. So this is where this kind of float comes from. And like, like I said before, this is all earmarked pretty much for these players here. I'm probably just going to have to sell some elephant though, short term or, or, uh, my, the deployer might have some fun sitting around though, because, um, we have 1.2, like 1.25 or something like that. 1.25 million, in, uh, trunk, which was initially, I think I bought some off of pancake swap and I also minted like 600 K worth to get around 1 million. Uh, so soon as soon as the minting functionality was built again, I use the remaining BUSD dry powder to mint uh, to mint trunk and uh, have that BUSD to feed Bertha. So that's why we had that big like 600k. If people remember, like when when we start when you turn everything back on, we had like 600k. Um, like 600k right here. That was because of the remaining funds in the legacy treasury, and you know using that to allocate to buy initial set of elephant up to like we had about 64 trillion worth of elephant, so we bought all that, and then we minted trunk to to basically get a receipt for a dollar. And actually put a dollar work at the same time. So that's what I that's why I did that. So now that's just sitting and staking and earning some yield. And then I use that yield to um help cover uh expenses as well. But like we have a lot of uh we have a lot of things that we're you know paying for and you know obviously that shows like because we are where we are. Like we're not we're twentieth in the world on Binance Smart Chain. Which means we're worldwide we're still like in top 100 100. Like we're we're going to get we're going to get here in top 5. We're going to get here in top 5. Just do just do this. Just just do this. Don't do anything else. Show them this, get, you know, have them set up their everyone should have their uh, their partner have their partner set do this. Set your partner, right? Do that. It'll tell you if your partner's not set, you know, here. And then just, you know, buy, buy elephant. So another question. Bertha's inputs are clear, and this is through buying with Bertha, minting, et cetera. But what about Bertha's outputs? That might be the reason for the stagnation of its growth. Um, I'm going to look again at um, the APR. For... So I think... So this strikes me as high. This uh, the peg support strikes me as high. Like this is a let's see. Yeah. This needs to um I might need to tap this down in short term, but you know, it's you know, we're kind of 
downtrending and shrunk at a certain pace, um, which may let up, uh, should, should let up, but there's no guarantees. Like uh, until Bertha gets to the size where she can actually adequately support the thing, I'm just not worried about it. You know, like if until Bertha is like at a, a, a past 20 million, it's just not worth having a conversation. Um, but I, I want to make sure that maybe dial this number back so that uh, we can retain more funds and stuff. Uh, for the for the treasury. Okay, I, I'm getting tired, folks. Uh, I'm going to switch over to... Those are some of the uh, questions that we had stored. I'm going to take maybe a couple questions live. Um, all right, so I'm going to add... I'm going to start with Stuckman. Stuckman. So if you want to speak, just raise your hand. Stuckman. Okay. Yeah, you Can you hear me? Yep. There you go. Awesome. I was just going to ask um, on the elephant page right there that we're looking at. Uh, I'm not too good at math. Would you be able to put how much BNB it does take to enter that raffle? I know it says dollar wise, but. Um, is there any way to make that a little simpler for me? Because I want to enter. I just I don't have a ton of BNB. I have to go buy some to do that. But I'll do it as much as I can. Oh, so yeah. I mean, yeah. And actually, I, I see a little typo because I have a dollar in front of the amount of elephant. But um, so the estimate is in real time. So you can do like zero point one. That's so it says if you see to enter the stampede raffle. Trade eight. It says it has a dollar sign, but I need to remove that. It says trade eight hundred. You need eight hundred fifty-one million elephant, right? Okay. So you see the you see the estimate there, and it's saying you have three ten. So two. That's six twenty. So maybe two five. Nope. Three. There you go. So maybe two eight. Two eight. There you go. Two two eight. And you Got see the it. estimate see there. How that works. Yeah. Okay, that helps. Thank you. Yep. And that's a good point. See, so 0 0.28 BNB, you know, that's $60 right now. Um, and we just need... And is if you're doing that... Uh, okay, so there's, so there's two ways to get into the... So, Everyone should be contributing every day, like, but contribute, like, we're in the life-changing business right now, so we kind of have to take this seriously. We're all grown here, most of us, majority of us, so, like, and it's during hard times, so we got to, like, you know, so the minimum, I'm, I'm telling you what the minimum is. The minimum is what? Five dollars. Price of a cup of coffee. The reason and the the reason why it's only five dollars to mint, but it's sixty dollars on the elephant side, is because I'm basing this off of the direct contribution to Bertha, and so the contribution to Bertha is is between eight and eight point five percent. So I'm so the people who buy in through Bertha are getting credited eight point five percent on their on their purchase going in, and here's the other thing. Um, here's the other thing here that the reason why you have to pay more on the elephant side is because the risk is lower you know we have to get the peg we don't know how long it's going to take to get the peg but if you're just buying elephant you're just chilling you just watch and once all of us are basically pumping elephant one way or the other, either through minting or buying, it's just going to be off to the races. This isn't a, like, this works when we get the participation numbers up. This works not when people are doing these mega whale buys. I mean, that helps too, and I'm working on it. I'm bringing in 
I'm um, actively reaching out to people, but like the community has to understand that it just takes all of us participating to, to win. That is the minimum requirement. No one, <laughs> those poor Celsius people, you think they care about the people who actually have accounts there? Same for BlockFi? Those poor people, retail accounts, they're not going to get their money back. Legally speaking, from a fiduciary perspective, the people that are entitled to get their money back are the investors and the, and, and the debt holders first. The actual clients of the platform comes last. And that's all in the terms of service. I know these things. I already knew these things. Did I lose any money from Blackfire Celsius? Nope. Is my money in Blackfire Celsius? Nope. Because I know these things. I had multiple conversations with whales. Ah, your stuff's too risky. I'm just keep my stuff in Anchor. Just keep my stuff in BlockFi. Dozens and dozens of conversations. Uh, and I was like, okay. All right. And now you see how that worked out. Not your keys, not your crypto. Okay? This is all your crypto. You... You either have the tokens or you have a right to the yield on the tokens, whatever. You have the, you have a right to the yield generator. Your stampede account, which is controlled by your private key, is your right, your claim on a particular yield generator, the particular version of the yield generator that I have running at the time is yours. And the liquidity back in the whole platform is ours because it's locked. Even as a developer, I can't move the liquidity, which is why Trunk's not at peg. This, like, this is a mirage. If I wanted to get this, you see the you see the pace at which I release software. I released all this new functionality. A unified raffle system for the whole damn platform. Whole new governance model. Treasury management model. Crazy incentives just to buy and sell the core token. If I want Trunk to go back to PEG, and plus because Trunk's not even listed on CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko, I just do Trunk V2 have a one to one redemption mod, one to one redemption for trunk v2. Build up an insanely small amount of liquidity for trunk v2. And it'll be easy to keep it at peg. And then you just get in and out of trunk v2 using a redemption system. Done. We're at peg. Yay. That's what I mean by, and that's lazy, that's lazy speech. I'm sorry. That's what I mean by I don't care about Trump to peg a trunk. It's a mirage. It can be gamed. I can make it, it can easily, easily. And it, and if you look at Frax, if you look at any of these other things, that's actually how they're doing it. Frax has very low liquidity across multiple different blockchains and exchanges and yada, yada, but it's all low liquidity. And then you have to go back to the core system to mint redeem, period. Done. Not hard. You keep low liquidity uh, uh, on these secondary exchanges, and then you have your core exchange that you programmatically control, and then you have your single-sided liquidity for the lion's share of the value behind your stable coin. Done. And we already have all the infrastructure for that. Have all the infrastructure for Trunk V2 if we wanted to do that. 
So for me to inf- to release Trunk V2, if I wanted to do that, you know, I would have to release new governance contracts, uh, a new flow engine. You know, it'd be a, it'd be a, a good bit of work, uh, but just configuration work essentially, and then I just clone Trunk. I don't have to write. I don't even have to write a new Trunk. You know, I think about like, okay, what feature? Do I want? Um, as a matter of fact, you know, Trunk's really easy because it just has a mint function. So, you know, the contracts that have permission to create Trunk um, are the ones that are creating liquidity. And I just would change it so that, um, you know, a, a super easy thing to do would be to to start. Yeah, you know, just just basically be able to specify and update who owns the liquidity as the liquidity is being created, and then I can implement you know managers for liquidity as I see fit. So not not a big deal, but why? So why am I keeping this the way it is now? Because I don't want more people waiting in line. At the end of the day, you still need to have real money back in the token, which basically means Bertha. Bertha is the money back in the token. So um, it would get us back to peg, uh, but it'd still be very cumbersome to use. So in terms of a, having a, a 100% operational system, yeah, sure, I could go through that extra work. But alternatively, I can just leave things as is and then you know focus on what's important, which is just getting Bertha up and running and then the peg will correct itself, and I still can make those changes, but I don't have to, uh, you know, change the trunk token that's p- pretty embedded in everything we do, right? So it means it's me touching, means touching everything, and so there's just there's too much operating risk. What I'm avoiding is the operational risk of of having to touch too many pieces and move too many pieces unnecessarily. So I'd rather just get our weight up here, get our weight up here to the point where we're uh, overwhelming the liquidity here for for uh, trunk. And, and we're getting there. Like this is about to hit parity, right? So we're at 5.7 million here. We're at 7.3 million here. So these, so Elephant Treasury is going to flip the pancake liquidity for Trunk, and then we're going to be off to the races soon because you know Trunk that might still keep going down in the short term, and that's okay. And then we'll just buy it all up and and, and continue from there. All right, let's let's take another live question. Uh, any other live questions? Wave wave your hand. All right, dude, dude, let's speak. Okay, crypto hey, dude, you're, yep. Oh, right on. Uh, thank you for all of this. No questions on this part. Um, is there any way for us, I have Elephant on Hot Wallet and I want to buy more, but I want it on my cold wallet. And I'm wondering through this process of buy with Bertha, is there any way uncomplicated to have like a tax holiday like one day to send it somewhere or whatnot i just feel like i would rather not have my ledger touch a dex that's it thank you okay so um one thing that i left open is uh with this with this the the buy with bertha contract is that for the buy and sell it takes a two so um I'm going to add a uh, destination. I can add a destination box. So, so awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll add a I'll add a destination box for the buys. For the sell doesn't matter, but for the buys, I'll add a destination box. Thank you so much. All right, no problem. Probably do that today. Uh, 
so if if there's nothing, if the if the destination box is empty, it'll use the, the, your current address. It uses the default address. Um, all right. Uh, next question. Wave your hand. If you have a question. Anybody? All right. All right. Um, Native, I see you're here. Do you have uh, anything to say? Can you speak? Costa Brava. Okay. One second. Uh, let's do Costa Brava. And then uh, yeah, here, I just here. want your feedback. Uh, Native, I want your feedback just to close this out. But um, Costa Brava, you're up. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, I, I don't have any question. Just want to sure. appreciate everything you are doing and your team. And really hats off to you, sir, and your team. That's it. Thank you. And uh, I appreciate you, uh, at least in Telegram. I see everything. <laughs> and I appreciate <laughs> your, um, you know, your memes and, and you know, keeping up the, uh, you know, you keep the spirits up in the group. It, it, you know, nothing goes unnoticed. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Thank you. That's it. All right. Uh, SK, can you speak? Are you available to speak, sort buddy? Of, kind of, at the day job, but uh, I'm here. What's up? Okay. Just, just a quick, just quick, quick thoughts about where we are. Quick thoughts for me is, uh, I mean, it's pretty evident post exploit, post market crash, you know, you focus on the root of everything, the first of it all, which is the elephant token. It's here. It's winning. It's beating out BNB, it's beating out the market, you know, just focus on that. And I know there are concerns with the trunk peg, but, you know, that's where patience is key. I've said it again in the chat over and over, but we're in a recovery phase. We took a huge gut punch and we're still standing. And so once Bertha, that's the focus, buy with Bertha, buy elephant token, feed the treasury. When the treasury gets to the certain levels that we know puts everything onto a parabolic squeeze, that's where the peg gets fixed. That's where your elephant token is going parabolic. Um, everything becomes circular and the way it should be once Bertha is there. Because you have to remember, it was Bertha that had the exploit happen against, right? So we need to surround the wagon. We need to protect it. We need to rebuild it. And then everyone's going to be happy, bear market or not. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think you're spot on with most everything you said, BT. So just patience, everyone. Patience and do what we know works, uh, which is – just accumulate more elephant token like this is a perfect opportunity everybody who wanted to buy a cheaper elephant token during the during the run-up in march here's your chance you know so those are my quick thoughts all right thanks xk appreciate everything you you do <coughs> Ooh, i need to drink some coffee uh some iced coffee or water or something um thank you uh Native, <clears throat> you want to close this out? Native, you're on, on mute. <clears throat> Okay, well, <clears throat> anybody else want to raise their hand really quickly? 
I see uh, a couple names I recognize. You got VJ, Mission for a Million. They have their hands raised. Uh, do they? I don't know why they're not showing up here. <clears throat> I uh, see. Hello? Anyone? Yeah, I see four people with their hands raised. ATX, Mission for a Million, Chris, and VJ. Oh, okay. So they're just like up, but it's not showing their it's not showing the um the wave to me, but I'm just gonna allow. So you guys can just go in order. I don't see VJ though. Oh VJ, here we go. Oh, D Fight Raj. All right, you're up. You're up. Uh, hello, um I've seen you've done quite a lot of work um, after the exploit in, in changing things. Is there any possibility or way that you can change the uh, graveyard rebalance to um, help the system more than what it is doing now? Um, short answer is no. <clears throat> there are certain aspects of the system that are immutable. So, like, uh, that's what makes you know, buying with Bertha, for example, the safest thing to do, the gra because the graveyard is immutable. The way that those mechanics work is immutable. Um, the way that um, um, the liquidity for Bertha for Elephant and Trunk is immutable. So it's it's I, I tie my hands, so I I can't make so I can't make certain changes. But that protects the community. So it means that, you know, there's a certain base level for the elephant platform that you can rely on where nothing else, you know, can impact it. So the way that we have things set up now, for example, there is abs in the, in the old system, uh, participants on the, f in the front office with trunk could Im negatively impact elephant holders, right? You know, they can redeem all their trunk and suck all of the value out of elephant. That no longer is possible. That will never happen. So that makes trunk, I mean, that makes elephant. Um, it means that there's a, a stable coin platform that brings business to our community bank for yield. But it doesn't negatively impact the shareholders of the community bank, a.k.a. elephant holders, because we have a rock solid um, fortress built around uh, elephant, and then the majority uh, of the pieces in the elephant token are all immutable. The graveyard mechanic is immutable. Um, uh, the only thing we can do is whitelist smart contracts, and so that was like, oh, oh wait a second, like I, I can actually build a proxy, and um, and that's where the idea for the elephant relay came in, which. I guess um, the buy with Bertha feature is going to have that. Like probably I'll, I'll add that today. So I'll do a push today with so that you can uh, specify your address that was just asked. Um, but that's just a certain level of protection. Like, you know, you look at what the UST team did, you know, they're like, oh, we, we can we can manually fix this they manually fixed it and it didn't work, right? You know, you have to build a system that's self-healing, that's autonomic. Um, you know, uh, this is something that we were building at Fidelity, like in um, you know, autonomic computing, you know, self-healing systems. Um, and so that's, you see where I'm resistant to just willy-nilly moving money around and stuff and, uh that's where that comes from. It comes from that those those early learnings at Fidelity around building autonom autonomic systems, uh, financial systems that can repair themselves. Uh, so that's why uh, everything that we do here at Elephant is is kind of different than what you see in other places. But um, so that's a great question. So unfortunately, I would I would love for basically ten trillion every time we did a rebalance for 10 trillion to just get sent to the treasury. 
But, you know, I think buy with Bertha is a great solution to that. And we, um, to that particular problem. Because to wrap that, to put that in a bow, um, if you're buying with Bertha, you're not creating reflections. So you're getting, you're getting, um, elephant at a reduced price, uh, 1.5% discount off the bat, uh, you're receiving 0.5% or your partner's receiving 0.5%, you know, depending on the transaction. That's great. So, so we have a replacement. So we still have a replacement for reflections, which basically rewards team builders. People who build teams and have their teams buying Bertha are going to win big. So I'm, I'm hoping that this change encourages uh, YouTubers uh, especially ones that have been on the sidelines or, you know, didn't think that there was a profitable way to get involved in the platform. This is probably the easiest sell ever. Look at the chart. They got a lot of stuff going on. They got this trunk thing. It's I hear it's coming back to peg or, oh, look, the, the reversal already happened and that's going up. And people can um, easily promote just buying, you know, um, a winning to a winning asset in this crazy market environment. So, uh, yeah. Um, VJ, was it Mission for a Million that was next? Or was that already asked? Uh, one yeah, of them. Hi, yeah, hi, BD. Can you guys hear me? Um, yep. Yeah, thanks very much uh, for taking my uh, my call. And uh, thanks, SK, for, uh, I, uh, you know, for, for noticing my hand was raised. Uh, first of all, thanks so much, BT, for, for doing this today under extenuating circumstances uh, concerning your health. And I do hope you feel better and please take care of yourself. Yeah. Secondly, uh, I was at the Pelton AMA yesterday and I thought the message was very clear, uh, which is exactly what you've, again, doubled down on today, which is basically buy with Bertha. And I'm totally locked in on that strategy. Uh, I was buying some cheap trunk uh, and DCAing in all the way down to where it is right now, but I'm totally locked in on this new this new messaging. Uh, I think it makes sense, and you know you've done a very good job of uh, uh, taking the the taxes and putting it directly into Bertha, while also rewarding uh, you know the upline. Uh, so, I mean, it's, it's really pretty simple, quite honestly. And I'm looking forward to accumulating elephant, which I wasn't really focused on. I was kind of, I really liked the stampede part of uh, the protocol, uh, when I first got in. And by the way, I got in on the parabolic move up. So as SK was saying earlier, great opportunity for people like me, uh, you know, to really DCA in and, and take advantage of uh, these prices right now which I definitely plan to do with Elephant. Uh, so my question though is, uh, you know, I've heard numbers like 150 trillion or 200 trillion size for the Elephant treasury, where things just, where, you know, the protocol just takes care of itself and peg gets restored and, you know, confidence comes back. Uh, is that A, correct, those, those numbers? Uh, and B, if so, uh, this rate of about 250 participants a day in the lottery, uh, and I'm sure there are others who are, you know, buying elephant in bulk and not particularly concerned about the lottery. What would you like to see the daily lottery at? So if you have a 7,500 strong elephant community right now, uh, what percentage of that community would you like to see Participating in buy with Bertha on a on a daily basis. Thank you. Uh, uh, oh, great question. I mean, we we have between eighteen thousand to twenty five thousand elephant holders. Uh, I'd like to see at least a a thousand or close to a thousand, if not more, participation a day. Everyone just actively DCAing whatever they can. It could be a cup of a cup of coffee. It could be sixty bucks. Whatever. I mean, obviously you're gonna you if you want to if you're trying to get into the raffle, you're gonna mint. 
if you if you're trying to get into the, the raffle, you even spend the least amount of money, then that would be minting trunk for five dollars. But otherwise, um, you know, for people who are ac- diversified across many different um, many different platforms and solutions, or or maybe even have some elephant, you know, you could also, I don't think it's, yeah, I don't, I don't don't think, I don't particularly like that strategy because I I feel like everyone should be, you do yourself a disservice if you sell elephant, but um, maybe like, it's like you're selling $3 Bitcoin. (laughs) Uh, But uh, yeah, I think, you know, based on your, your, your daily budget, you just want to come up with a plan to DCA and just religiously uh, do that in via minting, and, you know, maybe you do a little bit of minting as well. You know, maybe like, like one solution is like, say you're, if you don't have, um, say you only have $20 to spend every day, then the best strategy would be $5, $5 in $5 minting trunk so that you get into the raffle and then $15 buying elephant uh, is, a, is a good strategy so that you can um, accumulate elephant. Everyone should be buying elephant. But um, and then it just comes down to, you know, if you can't put in $60, put in five bucks into minting so that you can get in the raffle, you know, because we want to change lives, you know, so you can't you, you can't change your life if you don't participate in the raffle, though. Right. Or you're in, and by definition, you can change your life in two ways. You can either can afford to get a nice, healthy bag of of elephant, which is going to pretty much guarantee um, uh, it's a mathematical certainty that you're going to, you know, be able to do multiple X's with with elephant uh, in a short period short period of time. Um, at which point you can like try to diversify your assets a little bit and split between elephant and trunk. Uh, but if you're, if, if money's tight, then it behooves you to at least have that initial $5 go to minting trunk just so that, you know, you have luck on your side. You have luck on your side, then the potentially y- your life can be changed. And the more people, at least it, at a minimum, if if we have the whole community, um, and, and I'm not talking about the lower bound of just like stampede participants and truck participants, I'm talking about the upper bound of just all elephant holders, all hands on deck, so that we have you know a healthy percentage of eighteen to twenty five thousand. Then then we're doing the sufficient numbers that are required for us to really uh, get things going in terms of building out. Um, this treasury, because remember the treasury is still paying out obligations right now. It's paying out redemptions right now. It's doing peg support right now. So, yeah. So that's that's my feedback there. Great question. Um, thank you very much. Have a great day and take care of yourself. Thank you. Uh, oh, thank you. One more question. There. Yep. I didn't really have a question, brother. I just wanted to thank you guys and give a shout out to SK. That dude's the man. Thank Tyler. I love elephant money. I love everything about it, man. I love what you're doing. The world needs more people like you, man. I appreciate everything. Okay. And uh, thank you. Thank you. And with that, uh, I appreciate you all more than that. I, I love you all. I, this, this is, you know, um, this is something that we've been, we we didn't decide to do this overnight. We didn't copycat decide to do this overnight. We uh we've been doing this for years through thick and thin, through multiple bull and bear cycles. Uh for a lot of you, this is your first uh bear market. You're in, in good hands with this community. We're all working hard together. Uh this whole team here is is a volunteer net uh, this whole core team here is a volunteer, you know, network. We're where uh, a, a lot of the uh, moderators and the, the uh, 
the YouTubers that you know and love that work the hardest for this community, we're all doing this unpaid. Right? <laughs> so, you know, other than being vested in the platform, right? The platform provides. And we've been together long enough that that's just the way it works. We're, we're in the platform. The platform's providing. This is how we're eating. Um, and um, welcome to the herd. Thank you, Tyler. I appreciate it very much, brother. All right. Well, thank you all for your time. This is a long one. Um, I wanted to do this format where you could actually see, um, see and flow through the data, flow through the concepts, flow through the, 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 uh, the actual solution. So when I'm jumping from concept to concept, that it's, it's not just words, it's not just rambling. You're actually seeing what I'm thinking. And it's, that makes sense. Like, you know, uh, because yeah, um, uh, it, there will not be a PR person. You're you're looking <laughs> you're looking at it. I am the Elon of Elon of Elephant Money. If you don't like it, you know you can find the Rivian of of. <laughs> you don't want Tesla. You can find the Rivian. You you don't want the SpaceX. You can find the Blue Origin. But this is it right so here, have, Jack. So we have. So we have one more hand up, uh, BD, and his hand's been up for quite a while. Okay, see, so in my UI, it just it doesn't. Other than them being close to the top, it doesn't show that their hands up. But um, oh, really? so, yeah, it just shows the red icon. So that's what's gotcha. going on it, here. But unless mine is lagging, but it looks like it's still up. No, native, you're right. I don't know if Thor God can get him, but BD, I see his hand is up, and then Chris. Chris was in the original four that had their hands up, and he's unmuted now, okay. too. So it looks like two more questions. All yeah. right. I, uh, I unmuted BD. And then Chris, you said? Yeah. Chris. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Chris um, okay. How about okay. Chris? Yeah. Let's do Chris. Yeah. 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 So, so thank you for, for everything. I have a question re related to the, um, the future of the other product. Um, uh, as you said, that it's a community bank. So I was wondering if in the future would be make sense that it uh, you you add something like a DAO uh, in the in the system so that we can vote and uh, decide together whether the, the direction would be. I think the DAO is already in place. I have the simplest DAO ever. You you vote to <laughs> You vote to bond, you vote to you, you vote to stake, or you vote to buy elephant. How about that? <laughs> That's it. Yeah, it's and, simple. And in and in and in different terminologies, um, as as BT was saying earlier, what a lot of people um who found us later on in the journey might not realize is a lot of these different um concepts came from the things that we were already doing uh, years ago. So you're already experiencing a lot of that. Just, just the functionality isn't necessarily what what it's marketed and wrapped up to be on the on the broader scale. If that makes sense. Thank you. All right. Right. Yeah. So you're like you're like voting. Like we're trying to create uh, the most sustainable, rock solid. You know, we still have two externalities, two major ones. We have BUSD. And we have uh, B and B and BSC, the three really, three really, the B the, the B and B token itself, BSC, and uh, but other than other than that, and you and you actually see, and that's the other thing I actually um, you know being in this space for this long, um, you see that those DAOs aren't worth a damn. Number one reason. If they're dominated by a whales, those whales are going to vote in their best interest no matter what. Mm. So you you um, so it really it's it's actually worse than regular voting. Like token voting is worse than you know per head voting, like in the real world, like where one one head one vote. If you're mm -hmm. voting with shares, then you know. You're just going to lose to the people that have the highest economic incentive. 
So what I want to say is, I, so what we're trying to create is these basic building blocks. And by the way, these can be used by other smart contracts, right? They don't, you know, these, these can be used by any actor on the blockchain. We're not excluding smart contracts, obviously, which is why we got hacked through the front door. These, these, this system has to be resilient in the face of like all external opposition. Um, they can come through on the blockchain, but, um, but what we're trying to do is build the, essentially the purest version of a community bank mm -hmm. okay. with these particular building blocks. So, and once we, and once that's done, we're kind of done. Like, um, that's the other thing. Like, on a day-to-day -day basis, um, I don't have to do anything to support this. This this system doesn't rely on any third-party APIs, doesn't re re rely on any Web2. It's all on-chain, and it all is, it is a static UI that, mm -hmm. that can be hosted anywhere. So uh, we already have it hosted uh, on Netlify. And um, at some point... Uh, the the UI will be open sourced, and just you know we'll throw the they'll throw the UI out so that people can run that wherever they want to. So, but a right. uh, good question. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Yep. Yeah. Uh, BD, was there one more? BD, BD. Are you ready? What do you say? I'm asking him if he's ready. BD, are you ready for your question? If you're still there, Mr. BD, Irish photographer. Yeah, that that was a that was a good question. That was a powerful question because it taps a lot of layers of things that everyone is seeing right now on so many different levels. So right. the core, the core aspect of what we're all doing here is um, financial freedom, um, being able to do what you want, when you want with your funds, capital, whatever, at any time, uh, crazy stories like, uh, you know, uh, some, uh, this basketball player is, is the one that come to mind that goes overseas uh, a basketball player, professional basketball player, uh, American, Gan uh, no, American Nigeria, uh, goes back home um, because of relations. Uh, his bank is telling him he can't uh, utilize his money. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, this this kind of stuff is the stuff that people want out of. Um, th this this common landscape that we're seeing right now in a global global economic space. The reason why we're constantly looking at the sat value uh, and pertaining to elephant is because we're constantly having a conversation about being permissionless. And what we're doing is just a little bit different because it's um, it's a it's obviously a, a, a more hyper compounded growth rate um, just systematically. So that's obvious to everybody here. Um, and the thing, the feeling that we got through the first cycle, we want everyone to feel that same experience. And you definitely have that opportunity right now with, uh, with, with the buy with birth thing. So, you know, again, BT mentioned earlier, you know, what, what, uh, what some smart money's doing. Smart money doesn't always have to be big, big, huge, huge, large money, but a lot of times it is because that's how that's how you get get large money, obviously. Um, but yeah, some of the some of the opportunities are really, really obvious, and uh, just take advantage and and just block out the haters, you know, block out um, things that don't coincide with what the data is saying. Like this is data uh, science. This is this is data driven. Like just pay attention to the data. Block out the haters. Um, yeah. All right. Awesome. Um, thanks, Nita. Thanks for uh, closing us out. Uh, I see that Money Man's here. 
one of our long-term supporters and friendly whales. Um, uh, I'll give Money Man the last word if he can talk. Can you hear me? Can hear you. All right. I apologize. I'm, I'm on the road. So if you guys hear turn signals or all that, I'm just trying to uh, drive and listen. Wonderful AMA. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Again, for all of you that, have, that are newbies and are OGs, again, I am just like everybody else. I call myself the average Joe. I'm that person that came in to the ecosystem when it was bankroll back in March of 19, right around the same time as Thor got Ed. That's how we became good friends. And how I found bankroll, funny, funny story. I'll keep it short though, because this AMA is so long, but I was going through the alphabet and here I am the money man. I've had that nickname for about 25 years, bankroll. I'm like, wow, that fits me. So let's check this one out. Um, you know, I was into other ones. I'm going to not name names and stuff. But after I checked it out, I, I, I saw what BT was all about, what the ecosystem was all about, this cash flow for all. You know, I'd been interested in cryptocurrency at my ripe old age of by, back then, three years ago, late 40s. Now I'm going to be 52 next month. So I'm definitely an old G, an OG. But um, man, it. Like I say in, in all my positivity and all my comments I make over, over time throughout the years, you know, as goofy as it sounds, you know, I try to find things that I can relate to, like Willy Wonka, <laughs> The Matrix, uh, Top Gun, that kind of stuff, because it's so much easier to relate to and simplify things. That's a big thing of mine is the KISS method that I learned back in my college days. Keep it simple, stupid. You know, we have all these smart people and sometimes the overanalyzing gets to all the newbies and they get frustrated and they move on. But, you know, a lot of us, you know, like to simplify things, nothing against the, we need all the complex and simplified thinking and all the contributions of everybody. But anyhow, um, I like to keep it simple and positive and, you know, bankroll and now Elephant works for me. I made my mistakes like everybody else, and I admitted my mistakes. It's part of learning. You have to admit when you're wrong. You know, learn, you know, take that step back, take that 10 steps back, and then take 10, 20, 100 steps forward. And again, I was just an average Joe, making average money, working an average job. But I had that American dream. I've always had it since I was a kid, and my grandma called me the great brain. She motivated me to push myself to be the best that I could be. And just, you know, that got me into crypto, that got me to bankroll, that got me to elephant. And it's, it's you know, ancient history from there. And I know, again, I am not a futter. I know that elephant money is the way. I mean, we can talk all the crap we want about pipe dreams and all that stuff. But again, I have 25, 20, almost 30 years of, experience in the business world. I was a day trader back in the late 90s, did very well. That came and gone with supercomputers and all that stuff. But again, take a step back, look at everything else that's out there on this planet right now in the financial world, and you will truly see by doing your own research that elephant is definitely the way. Check all the pin messages, keep asking good questions, and we will all fulfill our dreams. Again, I'm not a BS or I'm a straight shooter. So what I'm telling you is just not a bunch of BS. This is fact, at least like, again, my opinion, again, <laughs> DYOR and FA. Uh, that's about it. I'll quit rambling, but uh, thanks for giving me a, a minute or two to hop on. I appreciate it. Okay. We appreciate you money. <laughs> yeah. That's a thousand pounds of truth right there. We appreciate you money, man. Yeah, that's that's awesome stuff. That's truth. You know, like you said, you know, um, it's not all smooth sailing. You know, th this this is the uh, all of our experiments over, you know, five years now in, in its final form, you know, um, you know, close to its final form. Right. So uh, 
you know, when we were rocketing to the moon, like just a couple months ago, uh, we didn't know that we needed all this. <laughs> we didn't know that we needed to buy with Bertha and <laughs> raffle. It just keeps going and going. But, uh, but uh, from a security perspective and things like that, and from, you know, it, it, keeping our money safe, uh, even the first version of this, this network that we have here with Elephant did its job. You know, the hackers only got 11 mil and then everything else was, you know, the community wasn't ready to take a hit like that. But now we are. Now we know not to panic. Um, and uh, now something like that, you know, can't happen. Uh, so uh, thank you all for your time. Uh, all, all of the kind words, listening, um, you know, let's 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 put all this into action. The, the strategy is buy with Bertha. It's very easy. Um, I'm going to add a two box so that like you can actually buy elephant for somebody and send it to their address. Wow. Can you imagine? Tell me what your Ethereum address is. Or make sure you own the private keys to that address. You can get set up on Binance Smart Chain later. But let me buy you some elephant. I'll send it to you. It'll pop up in your block folio. Let me do that for you, uh, uh, my brother, my sister, my cousin, my friend. You see where I'm going with this? <clears throat> so, well, I think one of the best feedback, you know, just, just that question that came in. I don't forget, what, was it Chris or somebody? Um, uh, you know, you know, can we ha add a two field? Because... I'm actually, frankly, hesitant to release the wrapped elephant right, right now, because, uh, you know, it, it, you're going to have the clown cars come in and say, oh, elephant minor <laughs> and stuff like that with wrapped elephant, you know, yep. ba baby elephant, baby oh, elephant. Crazy. It's all it's going to be it's going to be a tsunami <laughs> of noise. They've already. They've already got the logos waiting. <laughs> <laughs> the logos wait, salivating <laughs> over wrapped elephant. Uh, okay. Well, thank thank you all, and I'm going to at least uh, what I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the recording. Uh, so thank you all very much. Thank you for listening. If you got to the end of this, and uh, let's crush it. Bye with Bertha. Elephant to the moon. <laughs> like, can you believe we're saying this in a bear market? And we're saying this with like certainty. It's like it doesn't actually matter the dollar value of B and B. From a price action perspective, we're gonna go parabolic regardless of what the price of B and B is. That's just amazing. And then you imagine what the B and B recovery looks like. Or you almost hope that like since we're D we're DCAing, as long as we do this as a community, we're not saying buy with Bertha has to be like buy a thousand dollars worth of Bertha or elephant tomorrow. No, don't do that. Just decide if you're going to do your, at a minimum, you are deciding whether you're going to do $5 or $60, depending on your goals, somewhere between $5 and $60. And then after that, it's whatever your DCA strategy is. What I'm asking concretely to end, end, end this is everyone, everyone. If you, if you're listening to this, if you got to the end, thank you for your time. Figure out what your personal DCA strategy is. It's going to be at a price point between five to sixty dollars to start minimum, and then after that, you're going to have your goals depending on whether you're accumulating trunk, or whether you're uh, accumulating elephant, or both. That's it. Thank you.